This morning we're going to cover how to get a collection's storage size, uh, which can be useful in many cases. One thing to note, it's going to return the information in bytes, and we'll also see exactly where this information originates from if you want more details about a collection. So we're going to look at our collection here that we created on the fly two videos back uh, called db.habits. And you'll see that when we get the storage size, it actually returns the value in bytes. Now, where does this come from? So if we go to db.habits.stats, we will see some information about it. You'll notice like count eight. It's also one of the ways in which you can get the count of you know how many collection. I'm sorry, how many uh, documents are in a collection, and you'll see that in our document here we have storage size, right? So 81, 92. Now this is bytes. You can, as a parameter um, here, pass in the scale and change it accordingly. So, like for instance, if you wanted kilobytes instead of bytes, well, how many you know uh, kilobytes is 1020? I'm sorry, uh, 1024 bytes is a kilobyte, right? So you can adjust the scale and you can get um, different information here. So that's where this uh, storage size comes from. The great thing about this is if you don't want all these stats and you just want the storage size, that's one uh, very quick way to get what you're looking for instead of looking all at that, that other data.